Hello everyone and welcome back to Radiant Moon Tarot. My name is Victoria. Today we are here talking about the solar eclipse in the sign of Aries. This is occurring on the 8th of April of 2024. Hold on to your hats here folks. This is a big one. Number one, the solar eclipse itself is always a very spectacular, if you can see it, um, as a astronomical event, right? It's like we can, it's like the fire in the sky kind of energy. Um, way back in you know before they understood astrology way back in medieval times and things they you know whenever there was an eclipse it was like the end of the world right the end of times of course we uh, don't look at it quite that way these days although eclipses can be very unpredictable and they can bring things out of the woodwork expect the unexpected whenever we do have eclipse energy because pretty much anything goes we can have endings, we can have new beginnings, we can have surprises, we can have joyous occasions and joyous things that come out of nowhere. We can also have things coming out of the woodwork. And uh, so things that have been forgotten about or things that maybe someone neglected, if you think of your workplace, maybe something comes up from two years ago that some old employee never took, uh, never took care of properly and now here it is, somehow you have to deal with it. So things like that can very much come up um, at a eclipses. The uh, eclipses can also bring about faded events and just things that are kind of meant to happen or things that kind of put you right back on your destined path. Now, this particular one, this is going to happen on April 8th of 2024. Um, Pacific Standard Time is 11.20 a.m. is when that full effect of that eclipse is. 2.20 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, Eastern Time, okay. Um, but check your clocks, check your calendar, check, uh, you know, NASA or something like that to see where, um, where and when yours is going to be visible the most. Make sure that you do view eclipses with a little bit of safety in mind, though, um, because we don't want to burn your retinas out or anything like that. Make sure you do have proper glasses um, to watch it. Now, new moons themselves bring new beginnings. <clears throat> a solar eclipse is like a new moon on steroids. So there could be a new beginning somewhere in your life coming about because of this eclipse. Now, this eclipse tra does trigger um, a whole cycle. Normally, this cycle does end in about six months because it usually culminates with the full moon in Aries, um, usually in October, right, is when we have the next eclipse season. This one's a little strange um, because we actually don't get another full moon in the sign of Aries until the spring because the, uh, the eclipse in October of 2024 is actually going to be in Pisces. So very interesting kind of energy there. So this is a long drawn out um, new beginning event, which can actually give you some more time to, you know, get things done or get things started or, or start to see some progress. This is also conjunct Chiron. Chiron is known as the wounded healer. So this is a perfect time to heal old wounds, whether they're personal, emotional, um, whether it's something in your career, something in your relationships, right? So this can help us heal some um, insecurities, some fears, right? And uh, so it's a huge opportunity for healing and having a fresh start. So it is really quite exciting. This is also occurring, there's a lot going on, there's also occurring at the time of a Mercury retrograde. Retrogrades are time to take a step back, reflect, regroup, renew, reassess, and reevaluate things in our lives. It can also be a time where we can gain some clarity and insights because we are having a look back at something or we are double checking something over. Um, we can get uh, the answers that we've been looking for and sometimes we can have a second chance at something here, whether it's a second chance to start something new or a second chance to heal something and release it and let it go. This eclipse is happening at 19 degrees. If you know your astrological birth chart and if you have any personal planets between 17 and 21 degrees, you're going to feel this the most, but have no fear. This is going to impact us all. Reflect back to the solar eclipse that we had in 2023. There may be some things that have played out for you, or maybe there's something that you've forgotten about and you're like, you know what, I'm going to try this again. I'm going to give myself a second chance 
to start something fresh or to kind of turn over a new page, turn over a new leaf. Um, that was a doozy of an eclipse last year, of course, because we also had a square to Pluto, right? So that was a, whoo, man, that was a tricky one, that one. Um, and it really did kickstart a lot of massive changes. I know that I had a lot of massive changes last year, especially through the summer when uh, Venus went retrograde in the sign of Leo. That was not a good time. Um, so, you know, this can be where some things have kind of played out for you, or there may be some still some things going on. But this is going to be a very interesting one as well. A couple of days after this eclipse, okay, on April 11th, we have a Mercury Kazemi. So a Kazemi is, the word Kazemi means in the heart of the sun. This is where we can get a mental breakthrough. Um, new visions of the future. This is where we can plant new seeds of intentions. Um, fresh truths may be revealed. And this can actually bring you some good luck. So the Kazemi can actually be a really good time to set intentions to manifest some things into your life. But whatever your situation is, um, this is going to be a fiery eclipse. It's going to be intense, um, but it's very closely linked with the sun. So it can be very creative, uh, very um, energetic. You, can, you know, if you've been feeling stuck in a rut, this might be where you get the energy boost you need to get things started and uh, to uh, really get some action going, right? Follow your passion, your goals, your dreams. Um, you might be filled with a little bit more positivity than you were previously. And it's not that we don't have some bumpy astrology coming in as well because we do but this is probably going to give you a little bit more of a positive vibe to overcome things or to make those little changes that you want to make so having said that let's get into your cards and let's pull out cards for your sign so for you saggy this is happening in your fifth astrological house now this is actually kind of a really great place to have an eclipse um, again, this, uh, you know, this energy is very connected with the sun. The fifth house is ruled by the sun. And this brings in, you know, um, some love and romance. It brings in a very playful, very creative energy. So some of you could be uh, starting a new creative project. Some of you could be feeling a little bit more social and getting out there and meeting more people. Um, some of you could have um, be opening the doors here, letting down your guard for a little bit of love and romance to waltz into your life. Oh, then watch out, and there could be some faded meetings and events going on for you there. Um, there could be, if you're already in a part in a romantic partnership, this can be where there just might be a little bit more love and romance in the air around this time. Someone might be feeling a little bit passionate. At this time, maybe you come home uh, at the end of the day to find a nice romantic dinner laid out or, you know, you all of a sudden, you and your partner decide, you know what, we're going to ship the kids off to grandma and grandpa's house and we're going to have a nice romantic weekend and we're not going to do much. Um, we're not going to spend a lot of money, but we're just going to enjoy each other. So, you know, you could have some really interesting stuff going on there. But the fifth house is everything that makes you happy essentially the things that speak to your heart um the things that are fun the things that are exciting in your life so you know this is a very creative energy and a very joyous energy here in this house now this can also bring in some drama okay sun energy and because we do have uh chiron coming in if there's been any kind of um you know family drama or anything like that or maybe even any kind of uh, heightened uh, sensitivities that have been going on in a romantic partnership here for you. This can be where you have the ability to heal that situation and then kind of have a little bit more of a lighthearted energy there for you. But yes, this can be kind of fun and exciting. And, you know, we already have kind of surprises that might be coming in for some of you. And for you guys, this could be something that puts a big smile on your face. We have Capricorn energy and take a reality check. All right. So this is an important um, message. And of course, we do have Mercury retrograde. And this is where we do take a step back. We reassess. We reevaluate things. Um, we make sure we're seeing the truth in all things. We make sure that we have the right information. 
and that we are communicating in a positive way. Um, so in this energy, you are being very reminded to take a step back before taking a leap forward. Right. Just make sure that you haven't missed any information or details. Make sure you've asked some right questions. Right. You know, I mean, surprises can be good, but we don't want um, the surprises that come in because we've overlooked something and we're like, damn, now I got to do something again. So whatever your situation is, take reality check, take that step back, have a look at that big picture and you might just get some answers that you're looking for uh, right around this eclipse energy. We've got the Five of Swords. Ha ha. All right. But we also have the Sun. Now it shows up in reverse for the Sun in this particular, in this particular, uh, reading here. Um, and the Sun is one of those cards where even if it's in the reverse, it's still an incredibly positive card. We've got the Nine of Wands in reverse. So I feel like here that, you know, there's probably been a little bit of conflict, maybe some stress. Uh, you've probably, um, had some challenges uh, in your world and this is where things are turning around for you. A little bit of a slower uh, turnaround for you here in this energy, but there is a healing energy coming in. There might be something hidden that you don't know and this can help you resolve some issues, resolve some differences. Um, with the sun coming in, even though it's in reverse, the sun is actually one of those cards where um, you know, different schools of thought. A lot of people don't read the sun in reverse at all. Um, I read the sun in reverse, but typically only as a slight delay or a little bit of a slowdown um, and something that we can recover from very quickly, still bringing in a lot of happiness, a lot of positivity, a lot of joy, a lot of creative energy, a lot of optimism, right? All kinds of wonderful abundance blossoming in your life. But it's usually where we need to deal with something. But if anything that we're dealing with, we're looking at through a different lens. We're looking at with a positive aspect, a positive vibe. Even if we put an end to something, it's for um, it's because it's going to make us happier um, if we let something go. This is having a clearer, more positive outlook on, you know, dealing with relationships and people and things like that. So in this energy, right, again, we're going to take the step back, have a look at the big picture, gain clarity with the sun and then propel ourselves forward in the direction that we want to go. So the sun really does trump any other energy. It shines a beautiful light on your reading. I love that the sun came out for you because considering we've got this eclipse in your fifth house, right? Um, this can be very exciting. And you know, the funny thing is, is with the sun coming out in reverse here is when we have the solar eclipse, um, the moon goes in front of the sun. So in that time, right there can be where you get some sort of major epiphany, or this can be where something does come out of the woodwork for you that can help you to move forward. So um, very interesting energy coming in there for you. It can be reveal some past hurts um, or you could resolve some issues because the five of swords can bring about a victory kind of energy, but also like a double edged sword. Um, so it's like something really positive, but maybe someone else hurts. So think of, um, you know, a conversation or an argument that you might have with somebody here with the five of swords and someone's got to get the last dig in, they got to get the last word in. So there could be some healing element there. So apologies or clearing of the air from a conversation with the nine of wands, right? There can be an energy of skepticism there of, you know, we're not quite done with something. We need to get done, but we're not quite done here. It can be one where we're just kind of a little bit of a standstill or an impasse. So I think with the sun coming in here that you will clear the air with something, whether it's something internally within you or something that has to deal with other people. We're breaking down barriers. We're breaking down walls or um, embracing a more positive vibe, positive outlook. And this is moving you forward in a better direction or potentially giving you a fresh start. And a fresh outlook and a fresh perspective. Take charge. Okay. Don't wait for the stars to align. Reach up and arrange them the way you want. 
All right. So sometimes we need to go for what we want, right? We need to take action. Um, Aries energy is I am, I am powerful. I'm strong. I'm successful. I am happy. Um, I am worthy, you know, whatever that happens to be for you. And in the, um, you know, in the eclipse energy here, which at the ruler of, of Aries is Mars. Mars is I act right? I'm seizing the moment. I'm seizing the day. I'm acting upon my goals and my dreams. So if there's been anything that where there's been some procrastination here, I think that you're going to find a little bit of freedom um, to pursue some goals or hobbies or dreams or, um, you know, welcome in something new, something more exciting. So if there's been blocks, I think these blocks are being burned away with the sun. There's your next message. And we have, I am curious about my true nature. I seek to understand myself, right? Life is about a journey. Life is about figuring out who we are and why we're here. So you could be getting some very interesting answers there. And there's your next card. I teach people how to treat me. Always very important in that energy. We do forget that sometimes. So remember that, you know, if you are getting out meeting new people or if you're in a relationship or um, business, friendship, whatever it happens to be, you teach people how to treat you, right? Five of swords, right? So if you teach people that it's okay to get a last little verbal barb in a conversation somewhere, or if a simple conversation turns into like a heated argument or something like that, the nine of wands, what boundaries have you put in place, right? Have you put them in, have you put boundaries in place and are they healthy or are you ignoring the boundaries that you set and letting someone break them down anyway, right? So this can be a really important time for you to positively reassess where you have put some boundaries and where you have, um, you know, kind of allowed people to step over that line in um, in your relationship. So can just be where you get a little bit of your mojo back here, Saggy. So we all kind of have a little bump in the road every once in a while. Anyways, I'm going to leave all that there. I hope there was something here for you. I thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a wonderful eclipse. Engage with this energy because it's very interesting energy that we've got going on. And remember, what by the time we have the Kazemi on the 11th, right, we're still only a couple of days um, past that eclipse energy, and it's still going to be there. It's still going to be prevalent. So within those three days, there you could have something very interesting that comes up internally or externally. So I thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed your reading, please do hit that like button. But um, I will see you guys later.